Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Tutorials. In this class, we are going to learn about pointers to pointer. In previous class, we learned about pointer. So what is a pointer? A pointer is a variable which holds the address of another variable. So that means I am taking a variable a equals to 5. Now, so this is the a. Let us assume the address of a is 1001. In this the 5 is stored. Now, I want to assign this address of A to a pointer means I declare a pointer like this in asterisk of P equals to Emerson A. That means, so P is also a pointer and it is a pointer variable. So, the content in this pointer variable is always an address. So, I store 1001 like this. The pointer is also have some address. Okay, let us assume as a 2001. Okay, so this we discussed in our previous class. So what is a pointer? Here the pointer is P is used to hold the address of another variable. Okay, now we are going to see pointer to pointer. So pointer means which holds the address of another variable. So pointer to pointer means pointer that point to other pointers. That means the pointer holds the address of another variable. Pointer to pointer holds the address of another pointer variable. So there is no limit as to how many levels of indirection. So what is the indirection here? So a pointer means is used to hold the address of normal variable. Pointer to pointer means it holds the address of another pointer variable. Similarly, so pointer to pointer to pointer which holds the address of pointer to pointer. Each level of pointer requires a separate indirection operate when it is dereferenced. So what it means? So for example, I want to declare a variable like this int a. So now I want to declare a pointer I declare like this. Asterisk. I am using only one asterisk. I want to declare pointer to pointer. And this time I am using asterisk asterisk q. That means the q is a pointer to pointer and which is used to hold the address of another pointer variable. Similarly, int asterisk 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 or now so this can hold the address of pointer to pointer in this way you are going to declare the pointers to pointers okay each level of pointer requires a separate indirection operator here one operator here two here three so that means this holds the address of one variable this holds the address of pointer and this holds the address of pointer to pointer. Okay. So we see the example. Here I am taking a equals to 5. a equals to 5. It has some address. As to p equals to Emerson a. So the p is 2001 address. And here we store the address of a. What is the address of a here? 1001. And I am taking another variable. As to casting of q equals to Emerson p. Now Asterisk asterisk q is a pointer to pointer. So in this q pointer, this is the q. Let us assume the address of q is 3001. In this pointer, you are going to store the a value. No, that is illegal. Why? It is pointer to pointer. So it holds the address of another pointer. So we can store p value. Amberson p. And similarly, this is pointer to pointer to pointer which holds the address of pointer to pointer. So, so R is another memory location. So, this is also have some address and Amberson Q means what is the address of Q? 3001. Okay. In this way, you are going to use pointers to pointers. Let us see one example for this. Here, same example what we discussed in our previous class. A equals to 5 and B equals to 10. We are going to find the addition of two numbers. How? Here, a equals to 5, b equals to 10. Let us assume this is the a, this is the b. Let us assume the address of a is 1001, b address is 2001. Okay, so a equals to 5, b equals to 10. Now, here these two are the pointer variables p, q. So now I assign address of a to pointer p. So, so 1001 is stored here and similarly address of B is stored in Q. So, so 2001 is stored in Q 
and P and Q also have some addresses. Let us assume 3001, 4001. Next, we are taking pointer to pointers. One is R, another one is S. So, these two also have some addresses. Let us assume 5001 and 6001. Okay. So, R holds Amberson P, address of P. What is the address of P? 3001. If you give address of A, then it returns error. So, why? R is a pointer to pointer which holds only the address of another pointer only. Okay. Asterisk of asterisk, yes. I store the address of Q in variable, yes. So, so what is the address of Q? 4001 is stored in yes. Now, here we are trying to find the addition of these two variables by these variables and by pointers P and Q and pointer to pointer R and S. How? So, percentage D, A plus B. Now, it prints 5 plus 10, 15. Asterisk P plus asterisk Q. Here, asterisk is dereferencing operator. So, what is the P here? 1001. Dereferencing to this address. So, what is the content in this address? 5. So, 5 plus asterisk Q. What is the Q? 2001. So, dereferencing to 2001 means go to address of 2001. And the content is 10. 5 plus 10, it prints 15. Now, asterisk, asterisk R plus asterisk, asterisk yes. So, what is the asterisk R? D reference to the address. So, what is the R? 3001. Here, 1001. And D referencing to 1001. Go to here, 5. Plus, so asterisk, asterisk yes. What is the R? Uh, Address in yes 4001. D reference to 4001 we get so 2001. And D reference to 2001 we get 10. So 5 plus 10, 15. Okay. So in this way, you are going to use pointers to pointers. I hope you all are understand pointers to pointer concept in C programming. Now we see the execution of pointers to pointer concept here R and S. So, these two are the pointers to pointers. Here, so P is the pointer. So, we store the address of A. Q is the pointer. So, we store address of B. R and S. So, these two are the pointers to pointers. So, we store the address of P and Q. Here, we are going to print the A value and B value with the help of the variables A, B. In this print, in these two printf statements, we are going to print the A and B value with the help of pointers. By using these two statements, you are going to print the value of A and B with the help of pointers to pointer R and S. Similarly, here we are finding sum by using variables, pointers. So, this statement we are going to use to find the addition by using pointers to pointers R and S. So, let us execute this program. GCC program 51.c. So, dot slash A dot out. Okay. If you observe that here, with the help of variable names, we print the A and B value. With the help of pointer P and Q, we print the A and B values. Here we print A and B value with the help of pointers to pointer R and S. So this is the 15 we find with the help of A and B. So this is the 15 we find with the help of pointers P, Q. So this is the 15 we find with the help of pointers to pointers R, comma, S. Yes.